Since I actually can't build courthouses yet, I actually will just puppet this instead. <sighs> Rome, baby, Rome. I mean, it's not like this isn't costing me something. Right? We've delayed all of our building and tech and all kinds of different things in exchange for doing this. But it ain't bad. Okay, I'll actually move you here and do that. I would still like to take Delhi for the wonders. And I don't think there's anything stopping me from doing that. Other than the fact that I did stop my, my unit production a wee bit. Um... But I think I'm going to wait for the iron and then just buy a couple of things. Yeah, that waiting for the iron is probably fine. Mm -mm. Yeah, go for Delhi, yeah. One of the nice things is we do get to keep uh, a lot more buildings than you might normally get to keep. Because of our unique ability. So if we take a look at Rome. Caesar, the glory of Rome. When you conquer a city, the city retains all valid buildings and you immediately acquire additional territory around the city. Plus 15% production towards buildings present in the capital. Which is one of the other things like... Building buildings in the capital really would be a nice thing to prioritize to incentivize that. But we're getting all this territory every time we take a city, and it's wonderful. Just great. Rename cities. Thank you very much. Let's do that. And so this is going to be Tarnath. That sounds like a city. And then we've got Them Are, <laughs> them are Delusional. Ah! Damn it! We're missing one letter. Whatever, we know what it is. Them are delusional. Alright, we've got that elephant, we've got this, we've got that, so we're fine. Yeah, I don't... Ooh, alright. You don't want to be friends anymore because we're too close together. Is this a prelude to a backstab? That would be pretty poopy, if it were. Let's go fix those cows. And we're still friendly. Hola. Palm tree, thank you very much for the resub, and Lycanius, thank you very much for the subscription. Not a backstab because it canceled your friendship. Yeah, it's a front stab. The and like I'm pretty sure I could probably win a war against them, except for the fact that all my units are way over here. I saved my money, but I am going to go and uh, get another round of archers in place. Uh, maybe not in my capital. My capital is far enough away from the front, and the, the stoneworks is going to be very, very, very useful. I really don't want to pull my units back. I mean, I suppose I don't have to march on, on Delhi until I've got my catapults or and or legions or whatever, right? Something to consider. I um, actually should probably move back with this archer so it doesn't just get ninjaed. If he attacks Spoonk, he's going to have a really hard time with this bottleneck, which is nice. And I can buy an archer anywhere he decides to attack. Okay, I'm not going to panic yet. Panicking has been delayed. Please. Oh, no. Repair is what I want. Thank you. Could you imagine if I put, like, a citadel? Well, here you could attack from multiple angles still. Sophie is the one I'm a little bit more nervous about. Especially without city walls. Actually, maybe that's what I should do here. I could half-build the city walls... Queue it up, and still have enough for an archer if something happens. Lacanius is pronounced as Bob. Oh, thank you. That's really helpful. Uh, Gintoki, thank you very much for the resub. 
<laughs> you leave for 20 minutes and it goes from ending the game to attacking the capital. Things can turn pretty fast here, apparently. What do we think, guys? Yeah, that looks pretty sketchy. I think I'm gonna have to pull back here. We'll get back. We'll get back to uh, to India afterwards. It's important to like not lose. Sometimes all you have to do to win is not lose. I'm buy an archer here right away. So that I'll actually be able to act next turn. I don't think I'll peace out with India. Well, we'll see what kind of stuff they might start to offer. Huh. There's not much surface area on our capital either, which is nice. So maybe what we do is we put one spearman in the woods next to Sophie. That might be all we have to worry about. Actually. Put you in the capital. You're still resting. Maybe we're okay. I'm not going to move up yet until everyone's healed. That's okay. Um... Just be automated. Alright, Brazil, what you up to? Alright, nothing yet. You can bombard... Oh, a horseman over here. Hey, creep explosion! From Strassian! <laughs> All this front stabbing and backstabbing. This is one exciting knife fight. Uh, good luck. All render on the Caesar, onto Kaiser Quill. Thank you very much, Strassian. <laughs> Um, this horseman apparently decided he wanted to die. You came to the wrong neighborhood. But thank you for all the experience points. I think this was another one who was moving to Sophie, but we don't need you here anymore. Or maybe you were still healing. That's entirely possible. Um, I should move up here. Still a range of Delhi. That archer can sit there. You can come down this way. Next turn, everyone will be healed, and we march on Delhi. Without catapults and stuff, apparently. I think we just finished the mine now, though. Yeah. I Ooh, it does have a strength of 20. That is a lot more than, than previously. On the other hand, we can still... Oh, we're two turns from engineering. We need money to upgrade our stuff. But, we've got a lot of territory we could pillage for some heals. So even if we do, like, sort of a bit of a hit and then run away, it would not be all that terrible. question is, how much is 20 strength bombardment worth against us? Catapult. Doom. I mean, the Legion might be better for defending, but... Oh, yeah, and that's right. They'll be able to construct roads and forts later on, too, which is very cool. Show us the demographic screen? Sure. So, soldier-wise, we are in seventh place! Hooray! The only place person worse is... Who is that? Oh, it's India! All right. So, we're still... We're, we're in seventh place, but India is in eighth. Oh, you're constructing a fort over there. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that's some pretty painful bombard. We still have the ability to do pillages and stuff, but that is going to be a wee bit ouchy.
You would like my salt. Yeah, but could you give me more money for it? Nice. Thank you. The important thing is that he can't one-shot my units. Instrumental or mechanical science is the not And then run away. Soak one attack, then go. And at least once you're in friendly territory over here, we can upgrade you. Do you have promotions? Oh, you have no promotions yet. Don't do that. Looks like you're tough enough to soak some amount of damage. I'm going to cross over here. I wonder if they can get bombarded to death. So yeah, get the catapult down here. It doesn't look like Brazil's attacking yet. How much salt do I have? I have uh, I have three right now. I'll get a fourth soon. I think at this point we make our way up to education. It's going to be a long way to get there. But yeah, we've been focusing on the bottom of the tree a bit. It's time to go up to the top a little bit more. Alright, we did get hit a little bit over here, and there's nothing to pillage. Although I could move, say, here. And oh, that ate all my movement. Oops, that was a mistake. I realize it's going to be a talking across river here, but I think it looks like it's pretty fine. Did you just spawn a great general out of that? Well, that's a bit annoying. So yeah, mostly we're just annoying things a little bit, getting a little bit of XP, and try just trying to buy some time in relative safety while we get our catapults up and running and we'll get enough money to upgrade some of these dudes although I would like to upgrade like this one here who's got actual promotions and the important thing is not lose anything along the way it's possible by harassing here we'll just be able to peace out but I think I really very much would like um, Delhi Yep. You can go and pillage that. You are going to take... Actually, the cover one is going to be really handy here, and then just fortify up. You can pillage this, and then move across the river, pin in the elephant. You're going to heal up first, you're going to heal up first, and then we'll promote one of you. Alright, still good. Shouldn't lose anything over here. Still no war declaration from Brazil. This is the time when you really want to be able to tell these people, like, hey, back the hell off my territory. And you just embark to run away. Okay, that's fine. We're going to pull you... I can't run to friendly territory? I can almost run to friendly territory. Well, you'll be out of bombard range if I go here, so that's going to have to be good enough. Walls are done up here. Excellent. I do need buildings up here, but I think we also need some military units along this front. Next turn. Yeah, there's no way they're not declaring war. And I'm going to pillage this. And then, oh, that's the end of my turn. Ooh, I can get double bombard over here. That's not good, actually. That's not good at all! Yep. That was a big mistake, losing that unit. Uh, you don't have the experience. You've got one level of experience. It's only 90 gold to upgrade you, actually, or promote you, rather. 
You know what? F it. Become upgraded. Congratulations. You heal up a little bit. We'll be able to uh, upgrade one more in like three turns. Alright. Looks like they haven't decided to actually attack us up here, which is nice to see. Alright, go, go, catapult. This archer should probably get promoted before I send him out there. I need two turns and I'll be able to do it. So, alright, that's what we'll do. But we can move forward with some of these composites. You just fortify up. You know what? You can actually spend a turn bombarding from here. It'll be fine. You're not going to die in one go. Just build me a library. I would like an extra military unit. Erg. No, build me the catapult after all. How much we got? We got three minutes left. Can I take Delhi in that turn? I don't think I can. I think we're mostly just fighting these sort of like, I'm being annoying kind of actions here. Just to piss off the AI a wee bit. I'm not going to do that attack. Yeah, we really, really can't punch through right now. Um... Sending some production internally might be handy. No, I'll go for the money. Uh, not to Rio. Because if anyone's going to declare war, it's probably you. Can I pillage a man over here? I can, so let's do that. Good stuff. Another composite bowman. I think i got to keep you here for defenses. Put you up in the hill. Take that shot. Throwing salt at Gandhi. That's it. So you'd give me a whole bunch of gold to peace out. But I think I'm going to say no. I want your capital and all of its wonders. I could construct a citadel out here for more healing, but I don't think that would be helpful. More city bombard damage. Um... I'm going to have you stay there for another round. I think you're okay. I hope you're okay. There we go. We killed the bowman inside the city. I do like that mechanic a lot. And you are going to send production to my capital. Because if my capital can build buildings faster, then everyone else gets to build buildings faster. And that's pretty good. Oh, I should have... Shoot. That's okay. You just stay there for now. We'll be fine. And you can be upgraded. You only have one level of upgrade. That's fine. Let's do that. Next turn. Let's see if we can't take Delhi. We'll go on for an extra couple of minutes. Just one more turn! Yeah, you're the one who could use upgrades, but you're in pretty good shape right now. You are going to pop out over here. Replace yourself with a catapult. You're going to come up here. Bombard. Bombard. Got another great person. Awesome. You're going to rest up over there. Charles Martel. From House Martel? I don't know what I want to do with you yet. We could steal some stuff. I think I'm just going to keep you parked in the capital for now. We'll get back to you. And I need to keep healing these guys. I'm not going to want to attack from across the river, but right now I want to just keep healing up. Because, yeah, these guys are going to get bombarded by the city of Delhi, which is fine. Set up for a range attack. Boom. Oh. The city has a lot of hit points. It is down to strength 19, I guess because we killed the thing that was inside of it, so that helps. No one can steal this from me, right? No. Okay, we might get it next turn. Monument done in Tarnath. Excellent. Why don't you probably get a granary over here? We're going to claim a holy city. Oh, I think we just uh, plundered a caravan accidentally. That's always nice to see. Okay, Delhi. 
I would like your cold cuts. Boom. Boom! We're going to pub it for now because we don't have courthouses. So what do we get? We got the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, which gives you culture when a great person is expended. And if we get more love, we love the king days in the city, get 10% production. Not huge, but the culture might be nice. And we got Stonehenge for some extra faith. And the free shrine. Plus we got some buildings of some kind over here. All right. Well, I mean, at this point, we just got to take Mumbai as well, right? <laughs> um, yeah, because they're just going to be mad at me forever. This is what you get when you Ford settle Rome. You better recognize. <laughs> oh, man. This is why one unit per tile is so good. It's because you can abuse the hell out of it. Well, we are now at 4.02. Normally, we start stop at 4 p.m., so I think there's a perfect place to put in a cut. I think next time, we're going to continue our push towards Mumbai. Now, if suddenly Brazil did attack us, things might turn a little sour a little fast, but we do have some money. We can upgrade some archers over here. We've got some things we can do. It wouldn't be insta-death. We actually have walls in Sophie, which is nice. I'll probably want walls in Kutarn as well. You know what, actually? Oops. I was trying to queue it up, not replace things. Finish the catapult. There we go. And then... Oh! Shift replaces the Q. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Probably will be a good idea if we get some walls up over here. It's delaying our libraries. Like, it's so terrible for our tech rate. You know what? We can live without walls for a little while. Let's do that instead. Okay, so we're going to put a cut in here. Uh, wow, very good episode. Surprisingly good. If you haven't seen it already, do make sure to go to my channel and check out the Civilization VI coverage. Because I think it is spiffy and awesome. Um, I'll still be around on Twitter and stuff all day if you've got some extra stuff that you want to ask me. And other than that, thank you very much for coming out. The next live stream is going to be on Saturday. Saturday, May the 28th at noon as always. Not sure what we're going to play there yet. We'll have to make some sort of decision. Uh, it's probably going to be either Stellaris or Kerbal Space Program or Dwarf Fortress. And we'll just have to get a good sense about what's what over there. Um... And then after that on Sunday, Sunday mornings, SundayMorningHeroes.com. I do uh, Dungeon Dragons live streams uh, every Sunday now over on A Kiss for Luck and Briarstone's channel. So do be sure to check that out. If you go to SundayMorningHeroes.com, you can get all the info. Other than that, thank you very much for coming out, everyone. Everyone who watched and shared and did that. I've got some awesome little tips today. Thank you so much for your support. And all the resubs and all that. Love you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.